this unit is our DMP01 drum mixer. It's an EX unit, so it's designed to mix in a zone one environment and it runs off compressed air. So we can put a drum onto the base plate and mix it. So what we'll do here is we're going to load this 200 litre steel drum in using our DTP04 side shift EX to palletizer. First thing we do is open the gates, pull this black plunger out, open the gate, fold the gate back all of the way, same with the left hand gate. Then we take our side shifter palletizer or any other suitable drum handling equipment may do it. So then we wheel the unit forward. We let this leg of the depalletizer go down the right hand side of the mixer. So we use our side shift to align the drum with the centre line so we can load onto the base plate. We ensure our drum is lifted high enough and then wheel the unit in, centralising the drum into the base plate. And as soon as the drum is fully on the base plate we can lower the drum down. So drums now on the base plate, it's within the foot at the front so it's completely on the centre line. We now take this beam here, so we unhook the beam off the top and this is the clamping beam which clamps down on top of the drum. Grab hold of the handles at the top, place it across the centre line of the drum and then we fold up the locking bar and spin the nut down on top, just gently. Do the same on the right hand side. Spin down so it touches and then we tighten these up half a turn at a time. Do them together, so half turn, half turn and half turn. So that's it now. Now to check this, you look under the beam to make sure there's no daylight so we have it clamped properly and securely in the head. The next thing to do is close the gates. This black latch will latch in, so that's the gates closed. We then go to the control panel and we can select the run function. You can adjust the speed from slow to faster. We can stop the drum by pressing the stop mix button and then if we want to get the drum nice and central so we can take it out of the mixer, we have a jog function. So on the switch here we can just go jog and get it nice and square. So then when we want to take the drum out, fold the gates back. Unscrew the top beam. Take the top beam off and use this here to hang on the top so it's out of the way. We then get our side shifter palletizer. Bring it up to the height. And 
Wheel in. Pick the drum up. And wheel away. We've now got a close up looking at the top of the drum. And we take our top beam, and we just place the beam on so this tag goes on the outside, right in the center line of the drum. Fold our toggle up, spin the nut down just so it touches the beam. Do the same on the other side. And then half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn. I'll turn so it's nice and comfortable and there should be no daylight underneath this position of the beam and the drum and the same here and we're ready to close the gates. We're now looking at the control panel. First thing is your emergency stop. So you press this down and we stop all function. To reset we twist and it pops back up. Then we have our mixer stop. So this is for use for stopping the rotation. This one is the run speed, so we can adjust this by screwing it down or screwing it up to change the run speed. This is the jog speed, this is where we use it to centralise. So on this side here, we have run, off in the middle and jog. So if we turn it to run, unit runs away. Press stop, unit stops. So run, stop and jog is used to bring the drum back up to the central position so if we just go and this, this button here can be, this lever can be used to actually adjust the jog speed so just get the drum nice and straight ready to take the drum out. We're now looking at the universal adapter bracket, which is this piece here. We've put this 50 litre drum on the base plate. Now with this, this is going to be lifted onto the frame and the bottom part here is goes through holes on the base plate and we can adjust this, we can height adjust this here by taking these two pins out. So we can change the height to suit the drum and we can also reverse this, we can take this off and turn it over by taking it off the bottom of the legs. So I've set this for this 50 litre drum, so what we do is we lift it in, place it on the base, the two bars go down through the holes at either side, so you want to adjust it so this definitely sits down on top of the drum. Then we got our lifting beam, the clamp down beam here, and that sits on top of the beam there. Bring our clamp screws up, just tighten it down again, just nice and loosely on top. Then bring the second one over, spin this one down. And do the same as we did with the 200 litre drum. We just do it half a turn at a time. And just tighten it up, nice and securely. With these plastic drums, you don't want to clamp it too tight because you'll start to compress the drum. So as long as it's held nice and secure in the head, that's all we need to do. And again, there's no daylight up here. There's no daylight onto the drum and the drum's held securely. We can close the gate and mix away. With this sort of a bracket, you've got an awful lot of adjustment here for different sized drums.